And my mom, thank you to my mom. And my mother, thank you to my mother. I'm sorry, I'm hurt a lot of feelings with this. I already know, but this woman said that her light skinned mother allowed an extra light skinned man to impregnate her, and that's why she was born melanin deficient and why she cannot walk to the mailbox without sunburning. I'm sorry, but what black person is sunburning, period? Okay, but then especially just out willy-nilly okay because this is my thing black people we don't sunburn but once in a while you'll come across an exception to the rule somebody will tell you some crazy story how they went outside and was out in the sun for 28 hours straight you know and they was also in the salt water was dried their skin out and that's why they finally sunburned or something like you don't just hear stories of black people sunburning just outside on a normal day you don't right so it's like, baby girl, you talk about your light-skinned mother and extra light-skinned daddy. At what point are we going to acknowledge them people was not black, you not black, girl? Go put some sunscreen on and, and call it a day. show y'all a video of her with her significant other right so her significant other is actually a black man and y'all gotta just look at them i just gotta show y'all the video oh damn oh damn oh why did why did not the retweets there you go the retweets oh 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 little bitch does this not look like a white woman with some dreadlocks on like look at these two people standing next to each other i'm i'm sorry but y'all are about to come comment and be like blackness is diverse but it's not though because she herself said her light-skinned mother got impregnated by an extra light-skinned man at what point are we gonna be like okay them people is white baby or at the very best very mixed with white you know like why are we pretending that this is blackness this is not blackness i'm sorry but if you so white that you are sunburning you are not black anymore i'm so sorry to say this to y'all like but this is just what and this is my thing it's not like she's albino or something because when you look at an albino person you can tell that they are a black person whose melanocytes are messed up or whatever so like it would look like me i would have all those black features but i don't have the melanin because of the disorder that i have right and that's completely different of course in that scenario those people may sunburn because they have a deficiency in you know their melanocytes or whatever right but y'all y'all talk about yeah a light-skinned woman was impregnated by an extra light-skinned man girl that was a that was a white woman and an extra white man that's why you born sunburnt girl girl step back in your cave please just just stop and this is the fact of course this whole thing started because of racism and anti-blackness the one drop rule was literally white people saying one drop of black pollutes you to the point where you can never be considered a pure white again like they viewed blackness as that inferior so first of all the fact that y'all still perpetuating that amongst yourselves literally y'all still it's it's black people to this day talk about a drop of black make you black go to hell the fact that you even still like uh right but then even aside from that even aside from that i'm sorry to say this but i feel like a lot of black men really heavily perpetuate this because they want to be able to date non-black women without being caught out on their anti-blackness that's the reality of the fact y'all be calling yourselves pro-black but only when the black is white though so y'all be like yeah you know like i'm dating a black woman i'm having your black family but the black woman is a white woman with dreadlocks like that's that's clearly not a black woman that's clearly not a black woman check the family tree check the sunscreen applications clearly not a black woman right but a lot of these pro-black black men are only pro-black if the black is white like i stated so they will sit here and pretend somebody like that is black because they want to pretend that they're actually dating a black woman it's a it's a cop-out it's a way for them to not actually be about that life but to be able to sit around talking shit like they is so that's a, oh yeah black is beautiful but only if the black look like a white woman though and before y'all come commenting like flower tower you're just jealous because yeah she got a black man so and so so first of all i got a black man too and second of all that nigga looks dirty so even if i didn't have a black man i would not be looking in that nigga's direction i'm actually quite happy that she got that funky looking nigga off of actual black women's radars because he looked like he don't wash between his booty cheeks honestly and i'm not trying to flame him because he ain't even say nothing but i know y'all finna come comment and be like flower tower you're just jealous because that white woman has that black man i really couldn't fucking care less that nigga looks disgusting